Hey everyone, this is Mizan, and you're watching WP Buffins. And this is the brand new course uh, for the beginner, and uh, known as WordPress for absolute beginners. In this video, I'm going to talk about the WordPress dashboard, and uh, we have already installed WordPress in our web, web server. If you have missed that video, please look at the i card at, at the video, uh, which will appear on the right hand side of your screen uh, and if you're not getting any i card please check the description of this video uh, which will be appearing below of this video and uh, you're gonna get that video link and also the recommended way posting that i suggest you should use okay now that we have installed wordpress in our web server let's dive into the wordpress dashboard that is the admin panel of wordpress so before i do that i am going to log out from uh, my current wordpress site so that you know the basics so this is the raw installation that we have done and uh, this is uh, the first page that is the front end or the website of your website so we can go to the admin panel or the dashboard in two ways we can write wp uh, dash admin or we can just write wp login dot php so in both ways you uh, if you are not logged in then you will uh, see this screen then you have to give your password and then you can log in quite easily whenever you're logged in uh, you'll see an a screen like this uh, so it will be pretty much like this at the beginning so this is the screen that you will see okay uh, so this is what we call WordPress dashboard or admin panel on the left hand side you will see a lot of menus which we can uh, collapse or expand and uh, the different menu has different like section now now we are on the dashboard that's why two options are highlighted like home and updates if we were in like post there'd be more sub items from this section post will be activated or highlighted like right now we are on all posts that's why it's bold and there are different options like add new categories tags etc so every one of these uh, that uh, a pop-up or uh, uh, modal types of screen appearing uh, this has uh, separate um, options uh, and comment doesn't have subsection or sub options that's why there is no uh, menu appearing or no sub menus appearing uh, so these are the options that has options so this is the menu with a lot of options and uh, on the top of the admin bar we are seeing admin bar it's called as admin bar and uh, on the first uh, item if we move this is the wordpress logo and it's uh, all about wordpress like what is WordPress, WordPress.org link, documentation link, support link, feedback link, etc. And this is your website's name, as I have already mentioned. And if you are on the dashboard, you will see a visit site uh, submenu. If you click on it, you will be on the site. And if you are on the site, you'll see more options like dashboard themes, widget menus, etc. So if you click on dashboard, or even if you click on here, it's actually the same link. Okay. So in this way, we can shift from one section, to, uh, I mean, from the dashboard to the website or maybe from the website to the dashboard. And here you will see comments. This is a basic in installation without any plugins. So we are only seeing the comments. Right now there is no pending comment. That's why it's zero. And uh, plus new means a lot of options. Like you can post new uh, post you can post new media or upload new media i should say and page mean you can create a new page or you can create a new user like this so this is uh the basics option 
comes with the basic installation of WordPress. Then uh, this is the menu for the current logged in user. In this case, this is uh, created by Imran uh, from my team and uh, his uh, image and profile, things like that. I'm not going through this right at this moment. And then uh, on this section, there are a lot of uh, widgets. These are called widgets in WordPress. Uh, these are admin dashboard widgets and we can control this like uh, this is the basic one that comes when you install WordPress. You can dismiss it then it will uh, go away. Um, then you can uh, these are separate widgets uh, dashboard widgets you can like see you can go up and down like this will go up then this will go up uh, so you can also bring this down things like that you can uh, actually organize these widgets and same thing happens with this side of the widgets also you can also expand or collapse these widgets like this nice let's say that you don't want to have all of them uh, whenever you're logging in on your admin panels uh, dashboard how you can hide this from here on the screen option if you click on it you will see some options like this so if i uh, uncheck these you'll see these are disappearing so right now i don't have any options like any admin uh, dashboard widgets so if i want to bring those then i can click on it and uh, it will appear back again so in this way you can control the look and feel of your a logged in dashboard i hope that i could cover the basics of wordpress dashboard with you guys and i hope that you have enjoyed it and learned the basic of wordpress dashboard in the next video i'm going to talk about the wordpress terms uh, the commonly used wordpress terms that you should know even if you are just using wordpress till then have a nice day and i wish you all the best happy wordpressing